I need you to hit me. Okay, I know it sounds crazy, but... What were you thinking? Stealing my handcuffs? Using official police equipment to lock a defenseless child to a lunch table? What a tragedy. Oh, I know. It's always sad when someone... You're talking about the wine, aren't you? Heartbreaking, yes. So where's your throne? <laughs> there are no thrones here, Dad. That's not how it works. Don't be ridiculous, Daniel. Nothing's changed. I'm still the same person. Charming, beloved. And you're still the same person, too. Useless, tolerated. I meant, metaphorically, where's your seat of power? You said you were very important here. I am. But I, you know, prefer to stand ready for action. Mm. Could you imagine being ripped apart by a shark? Do I have to? Looks like we found our Michael. Mm, he seems more like an amenadiel to me. <sighs> Those big old teeth tearing into your skin. The water filling your lungs as you scream. Or the heart attack from the sheer terror of it all. Unless he's a uh, Michael pretending to be an amenadiel. Michael never pretends to be a menadeal. They look nothing alike. Mm, you don't have an office? It's open floor plan, Dad. So where's your desk? You kill somebody? Yep. Who? It was, doesn't matter. Impulse crime. Is it crime of impulse? A kind of crime. All the best decisions are made in the heat of the moment. <laughs> have you seen a rather large, attractive gentleman? Broad shoulders, piercing mm. eyes, heroic face. Looks a little like me. You mean the plumber? And how did you kill them? Really good and hard. All the way dead. Well, it looks like he was tied down and forced to drink wine for a couple of hours before he was shot. So you're saying he was Walter Bordeaux? <laughs> oh. <laughs> kind of funny. Daniel, would you mind explaining to this Gentlemen, how important I am to the investigative process. Not Please. now. Yes, he has a desk. Maybe if you work hard enough, you might one day rise to this man's level. Hey. What? He's not gonna need it. Hey, Ella. Before you start, no. I am not going home. I need to focus on the case. Okay. When Dan and I pulverized that gang together. It's beautiful. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Really? I have like five pretty solid arguments ready. I mean, if you want to hear them, I no, can tell. we're good. Hello, sailor. JJ, do you even want to be an LB at SMU? I mean, it's a lot of acronyms to keep track of for starters. What if some of your siblings are already there waiting for us? <sighs> Miss Lopez. Yeah? What is it you truly desire? I want to be in the CIA. Oh, did not see that coming. No. Thank you. <clears throat> what? I said it was fine. The creator of the universe glitching is the literal opposite of fine. Culinary Institute of America? I want to be a pastry chef. Are you seriously telling me that Michael has got your vote because... because he's the devil you know? Do you have any idea how ironically infuriating that is? Who are you? Uh, Dan, this is... my dad. The thing that I've learned in therapy is that we need to be gentle with ourselves before we're gentle with anybody else. Hmm? It's God. Oh. Oh. Hmm. Hi, hello, uh, hello, hello, uh, uh, Mr. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> My friend Sean. Uh, your uh, hi hi Highness, your, ho your Holy. <sighs> I am. Uh, de Daniel, Dete Detective Daniel Espinosa, nice to meet you. You and I will have to discuss this later. I look forward to it, son. And while I'm waiting, I think I'll tighten up your wobbly dancing hole. It's, uh, it's, it's real nice, buddy. It's real nice to meet you. I'm so excited for you, Chloe. Thank you. 
I, on the other hand, am very mucho not excited for you. I know who you are, actually. Hmm. I believe you met my wife. Oh. Hmm. Right. Is this really how it's gonna end? What you're gonna you're gonna take up scrapbooking? You're gonna foster cats? Hmm? If this really is an emergency, I'll take care of them. Right. Give me your keys. I need your keys. There's no way in the world I'm letting you drive my car, Daniel. So you're both leaving? <laughs> Cheers. Pinche pendejo, cabrón. ¿Cómo me puedes dejar y hacer esto? Lucifer, you have to know that you can trust me by now. So tell me the truth. You hit an emu with your car, didn't you? He doesn't like the coffee. I didn't say that. I didn't say anything. You spat it in the garbage. The other day, I saw her arguing with this big, intense, Scary guy. Well, there you have it. First name scary, last name guy. Let's go pick him up, detective. Ah, taste this. Almighty Walcott. Former heavyweight champion of the world, three years running. Okay, Madison Square Garden, 2015. Almighty versus the undefeated Josh Clemson. It's round five. The fight's brutal. Almighty taking hit after hit after hit. It was the fourth quarter. It had just hit the two-minute warning. Cathedral highs down by three, but they've got possession. Cheerleaders, do you want to <clears throat> skip to the flag on the play? Right. Well, Clemson puts in a massive right hook. Almighty falls against the ropes, and everyone thinks it's over. But then, bam! Almighty is Clemson with an uppercut like a freight train. Clemson goes down on the canvas. It's a knockout. The crowd goes wild. Wild. Woo! Time out. Crime scene. So your son didn't turn out exactly how you'd hoped. So we can't fly. Well, I think we've already established that I can fly. Look, I'm sorry you're hurt that you can't annoy Dan. What if they apologize to you? To me? I mean, to Chris. I, I don't understand. What good is apologizing to a dead body? Looks like we have the numbers. Consider the vote complete. And me... God! I think I know exactly what to do. Get ready to be supported, son. Okay. The hell were you thinking? That I'd impress you with my ninja moves? <laughs> I didn't, did I? Thank you so much. What a lovely, sweaty room you brought me to, Lucifer. You know what? No. I am not even gonna ask this time because you two are the couple who cried relationship. And I am not asking. 70 30 split. 80 20. Okay, fine. I have to know. Are you guys together or not? Deal. Ah! Yay! <clears throat> Go deep, son. What? Nice block. <laughs> All right, somebody stole my car and they, they, they stranded me here and then... Dan, I'm not an Uber. Can I help you? That's yes, my I... son, Lucifer. He's a very important assistant. Consultant for the police. He doesn't have a desk because he likes to stay on the move. You gonna pick me up or do I do I sort of climb up? Okay. No. I'm Peter Peterson and I um have the greatest I, name ever. I may pass out. Or puke. Or both. Okay, I'm ready. <laughs> 